it work. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. And Rachel Monick, my wonderful assistant here. There's this cool experiment that's on a lot of websites. Steve Spangler Science, I always go to that because he does a lot of great experiments. It's called Color Changing Milk. Looked easy. Okay. And it turns out it might be. All right. So you want to help me Color with Color changing here? milk. Color changing milk. All, All right. you need, dish soap, you need milk. Got I that, have, got that. I have regular milk. I also have half and half, which is different fat content. I got mm -hmm. Dawn dish detergent okay. and um, food coloring. Okay. And what does food coloring do if you make a mess? You know what? It stains your hands. Did you yeah. notice that? Yeah. I noticed that <laughs> yesterday, as a matter of fact. And Amy's counter, so you might want to clean that up oh, quickly. Oh, okay. No problem. She's not in today. We're okay. okay. So, the thing is, this shows a chemical interaction between the dish soap and what's in the milk. Oh. The milk has protein and fats, and basically what you're... Well, let's do it first, okay. and then I'll talk about that. Well, all I want you to do is take this Q-tip, which actually you lent me. I'll give it back to you when you're done. Put it in there in the there dish soap, all right? Put this in the dish yep, soap. Yep, dish soap. And don't make a glob, just kind of uh, spin it around the outside okay. of the, like this. There you go. So it's not a glob. Oh, All I don't right. want a glob. <laughs> like, yeah, don't want what, a glob a of dish soap. Okay. Put it right in the middle and just of press it down. Of one of the colors? No, no, no. Put it right in the middle of all the colors. <gasps> Isn't that cool? Look at Nothing that. cooler than that. What's happening is that dish soap, the uh, molecules in the dish soap are chasing the fat and protein if molecules. I move it around. Oh! And it's actually, yes, it will work to a point, but then when it all mixes together, then it doesn't work anymore. But it does, you do get a, well, a that's real cool gorgeous. effect. As a matter of fact, you can go ahead, get some more soap, and see if it continues to work. Oh, really? Yeah. And get it? this, this Spin is a it demonstration. Around. A lot of times kids want to do these things for science expos and stuff, and this is a great experiment because you can do oh. regular milk you can do 2% milk and also... Oh yeah, does it matter what milk? Well, it, that's the thing. Does that's it? an experiment. Yeah, that's an experiment. Okay, I see like what this you're is, saying. Now this is half and Don't half. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <gasps> it's still going and I'm not even touching it. <gasps> so look, it's got a mind of its own. It, it's look at... It is alive. <laughs> Well, not really, but... It's just gorgeous. Oh, you have to do this at your science fairs. And this is really cool because I did notice that um, the food coloring was going down to the bottom. I noticed it's kind of coming up to the top, so that, it's, it's that like dish soap a, is really like there's falling. there's a volcano under there, and it's just spewing. Like a volcano. It's a volcano, and it's alive, and all that science stuff. One thing that I did notice I'm on, mesmerized the, by that. on the website I went to, and, and it was one of the comments. It said, oh, all you have to do is get Elmer's glue and a hair dryer, and you can save your creation. So, thanks to Danielle, our executive producer, for going to Walmart this morning and getting Elmer's glue. But you know that what? That would be this version right here. Should it I slide it over? Yeah, slide it over. It didn't quite work. Now, I think it might work, but you'd have to do some experimentation here. We put Elmer's glue, I put Elmer's glue in with water and okay. mixed it up. And then it did come out okay, but notice what happens when you do the yeah, dryer. It doesn't, I don't think it's, the mixture is quite right. But it does have possibilities, so there's something else you can try. But I give it a four and a half out of five beakers. How about that? Super colorful, super fun. Isn't it nice? And I learned something. And it's about something that, that you can <laughs> put as colorful. And you can, and as I said, you can, it's a great science demonstration of a science experiment. For the All kids. right. Don't re I mean, remember, don't glob the Q-tip. Exactly. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.